everyone welcome back to my channel sorry if I look disgusting and gross today it's really like gloomy and not worth doing my makeup so I just have like foundation and powder on um, and some mascara but today's video is going to be a product empties and um, kind of like a like and dislike of stuff it's just stuff that um, I've put on the side to I guess I've been meaning to make this video for a long time and I haven't really gotten to it because Lately I've been super busy, um, I just recently quit my job and I have my son full time because he was going to a daycare while I was at work so I had to take him out of that and yeah. So we're going to try this video, he is napping in the next room and we're going to see how this is going to work out and see how filming with him home, like taking a nap is going to work out. Anyways, let's get to the point. So here is my bag of goodies. A full bag of goodies of things that I like dislike um, things that I've used up and let's check it out so I'm not gonna go in any particular order I'm just gonna go okay so the first thing is the 10 color camouflage conceal palette from BH cosmetics um, I first got this um, I can't remember when I got this it's been a long time since I've I didn't really use it but I think last year is when I decided to just like toss it because it has basically gotten dry like the formula of it like dried dried out like a week after I had bought it I was really excited for it I was going to use it to contour and to do all that crazy stuff and like two weeks after I had gotten it it was just like this dry texture and it's just like dry and cakey it's not even like a cream texture anymore it just it dried out I didn't like it and the colors are kind of unrealistic and un unnatural I think the only ones I really used were this one and maybe these two I mixed them together but like the consistency of it got really dry I tried to fix it by putting like oils and like mixing it up but I just I didn't want to waste my time on a product that wasn't going to stay the way it was the next thing is the Tickled Pink Detoxifying Wipes. And these were just like facial wipes that I had gotten from um, a store that I worked at. When I worked at Charlotte Russe, they have like the little impulse things that have like um, chapsticks and stuff at the register that you can like grab and buy. And I bought these for um, when I went on a trip because sometimes I don't like to wash my face every single day when I'm on vacation. I just wanted something quick that I could like go wipe my makeup off and be done. But I really I really liked these because they smelled really really beautiful. Oh, I can still smell it. I miss that smell. Yeah. Um they were really fresh on my face. I felt like my face was clean at the end of the day and I really liked it. The Elf makeup mist and set with what is it? It has green tea, cucumber, vitamin A, C, and E. This is e.l.f. Um, setting spray, which I can't remember why. I, oh, I know why I didn't like this one. I didn't like this because it wasn't setting my makeup, and I really, I have really oily skin around my nose area, and I really needed something to hold my makeup, and this just wasn't doing the job. I didn't like it, and for a long time, there's a lot of e.l.f. stuff in here, too. So for a long time, I was really obsessed with e.l.f. because it was very, um, what would you call it what's that word very cost efficient yeah that's the word like I saved a lot of money with elf products to where I had like the huge palettes of eyeshadows but what I discovered is that the eyeshadows and a lot of the makeup wasn't very pigmented and it wasn't working so I really had to throw out a lot of my makeup because it just wasn't working for me anymore so this I didn't like that um, this next one is the Kat Von D eye palette. This one's old. This came out in like 2009. These are like the old palettes of colors. And I really like this one. I had both of the palettes at the time where there was one with like browns and greens in the palette. And this one just has like a mixture of colors in it. I had both of those palettes. I don't know what happened to the other one. I think I gave it away. I think I gave it to my sister. I'm not sure. But I really love these. This was like the first um what what's the name of it high-end makeup store 
makeup that I had bought and I got this for my birthday and I love it so much and I'm just I have so much makeup now that I cleaned out last year I cleaned out all my makeup and so I really like that I don't want to throw it away but it's not really serving any purpose anymore what's next next is the tinted moisturizer from elf um more I have a lot more elf products in here than I do normal products <clears throat> so just bear with me with that one um this moisturizer I didn't like because I had gotten it and again two weeks later it like changed a whole color like it was my skin color that I had gotten and it's orange now like you can clearly see that that is not my skin color yeah the color of it changed um I don't know I stopped liking elf so I haven't gone back and gotten another tinted moisturizer I guess but yeah, didn't like it. It changed the color, and I'm not about it. Let's see. This might be a, an e.l.f. product that I actually liked, but just upgraded to something else. So this is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer one. This is like the knockoff NARS um, Blush and Bronzer palette. I really like this. This was like the, the first e.l.f. product that I liked, and I still like it, but I just haven't really upgraded because I've gotten other ones other products that are more pigmented um good colors i it's really controllable very wearable nothing too dark nothing too crazy and i just i stopped using it and got something else so that's why i have to throw that away i don't like to keep makeup because it just wastes space especially if i'm not using it this next one is whoa this next one is like the little pore professional samples I had a little sample from Ulta, and I like this, um, the Minimize Pore stuff. What is it? What do, you, what do you call it? It's just a cream that you put on your face, basically, and, like, it minimizes your pores. And I liked it because it made my skin feel smooth, and if I have time, I want to go get a full bottle of it, but I haven't gotten one in a while. Let's see. What's next in here? So much crap. I don't even know what to start with. I don't even know what to grab because there's just so much crap in here. Okay, well, I'll just go with this in my hand. It's got, like, makeup goop on it. It's, like, dirty. Okay, so this is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation. Um, I think what I didn't like about this one is that the consistency of the foundation was so sticky. It didn't feel smooth at all. Like, applying it to my face, I felt like I was just sticking, like, it had, like, a sticky glue texture. It wasn't, it wasn't nice feeling. Like, most foundations that I like them to just be smooth going on I don't want them to feel sticky and when I would put my powder on it would still feel like sticky on my face like it could still feel like that little sticky wet texture of it and I didn't like it so and I feel like these have too much fragrance in them like they're just strong perfume smell and I really am not big on perfume smells with my foundations because I don't want to smell that all day Next is two products is the Flawless Brow Pencil from BH Cosmetics. And I got these because I wanted to try some new eyebrow pencils and they're in different colors. One of these is in medium and then the other one is in blonde. So I would alternate between these two. Like if I was having a natural look, I would use the blonde. If I was having a more dramatic look, I would use the brown. And my problem with these is that using these it doesn't come off like it takes forever for it to come off on my skin and imagine using that on your eyebrows where there's a lot of hair trying to get that color out and this one did the same thing like you have to I'm rubbing so hard to get the product out and I shouldn't have to do that I wanted something that was creamy and that could just glide on and these weren't doing it so didn't like those um, there's really not a whole lot of empties in here that I can see. It's mostly just stuff. Maybe like two empties, but the rest of it's stuff I didn't like and just wasn't into. This next thing is the second thing that I've actually liked from e.l.f. but just never, um, gave it enough attention. Is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow, um, palette thing. It's just a small little palette. Nice colors, um... For the longest time before I was actually into doing my eyebrows, I would use this just to like fill them and like fill them in and I wasn't really big on doing the whole like cream 
um, eyebrow stuff. I can't remember. This one is in Beautiful Browns. So, it, I've always been drawn to the colors like this, like natural colors, but I just, I couldn't give it enough attention to actually use it, and I just started buying more stuff, so. Moving on. Hmm. What else is in here? Ugh. Yes, don't even get me started on these. These drive me crazy. These are the e.l.f. eyeshadow, I think these are the loose eyeshadows that I had gotten a long time when I was really into e.l.f. in like a little set thing and this white colored one is in elegant and then like this light bronzy gold is in celebrity and what I didn't like about this this hasn't been opened in the longest time and it's just leaking out of the sides of it there's just a shadow all over it every time I tried to open this product would just spill out like oh god I'm gonna spill that on me look it it's just I don't know how it does that it's blowing in my face too but it just spills everywhere and it's just a big mess and I could I could never use it because it would just make a huge ass mess and I wasn't into it. <sighs> God, I can't even close it because it's spilling on my fingers. Oh God, it's spilling out the sides. See, that's what I mean. By spilling out the sides, it would just, like, every time I close it, it falls out. <laughs> cool beans. Anyways, the next one did the same thing. I really like this color, but... Again, it just does the same thing as the other one. It's just like spilling out, and I don't like it. It just makes too much of a mess, and I don't have time every time I do my makeup to clean my hands off. It was just like everywhere, like legitimately everywhere. That's just from opening and closing it. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Gross. Yep, and that's why I didn't like them. Now it's all in this bag. Okay, what's the next thing? Oh, um, a little tool. I've had this for a long time, and I've just now, like, just tossed it and got a new one. <sighs> I've powdered my nose. Um, I can't remember when I got this, but I've had it for a ridiculously nasty long time. I don't think you're supposed to keep tools that long, but I've had it since high school. Maybe sophomore year of high school, and I'm 21 now, so. Really unhygienic. I was cleaning it, like, throughout the years that I had it. I clean my stuff. I don't just, like, neglect to do that and I just realized like it's just like it's to the point where like the little padding has just got a little a little dent in it from like where I would push the top part into curl so it's pretty much done it's gotta go I'm trying not to touch my face because I have like eyeshadow from those little palette things Ugh. do I have sanitizer moving on let's see this next thing is another elf product it is elf mineral infused face primer uh, I don't know what to say about this I don't I didn't like it because again a lot of the elf products um, I don't I haven't bought any elf products in a long time to say like it's still like this but it was just I didn't feel like this held my makeup when I used it it was just like another oily weird thing on my face that wasn't helping my makeup at all and it's hard to like blend in probably because I used a bunch but it just has like a weird oily texture and it didn't help my makeup at all so that's why I didn't like it and that's why I didn't continue to use it and I find myself having to like alternate between primers because during season changes my face gets oily in the summertime and it gets dry in the winter time so I have to like change my primers all the time and it's just that one didn't just, it didn't meet the needs. There's a random cap in there. What else? There's so much elf stuff in here. I'm trying not to pick that. Oh, this is an actual empty that I've used up. There's dust everywhere. I can't stand dust. This is the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto. This is my favorite liquid liner. And I like it because it's got kind of like a sponge, a spongy tip applicator. I don't know if you can see that very well. Spongy. I don't know if there's any more in here. Yeah. Oh, a little bit actually. Yeah, but it's all runny and watery. Yeah, that's what happens when I start running out. It's like water. Streaky. But I like this liquid liner because I've been using it for a long time. I can't remember when this came out, but I felt like I've been using it. I've been using this brand, not this same tube. Um, that brand of liquid liner since high school, and it's worked for me, and it's easier to get on than most liquid liners. And it's 
actually because I like wearing black liquid liner I felt like that was the blackest liquid liner out there most liquid liners that I find that say it's a black liner it's not really black it's kind of like a gray browny tint and it never it's never a true black like I want it to be what's next um what is this I don't remember getting this this is the oh yeah I remember this now this is the hard candy all glossed up hydrating lip stain oh this was a mess I don't know why I decided to throw this away I don't even know why I got it but from what I remember is that like putting it on it felt like a chapstick type of texture and it would just it would run all over like even with putting on a primer um, it wouldn't hold like it would just leak I don't know not leak I don't know what the word is for it but it would just it wouldn't stay on my lips it would be on the outside of my lips like some weird weird clown I don't know it was a bad this was a bad product and I didn't like it very much so I had to throw that one out and what's next what's next mm -hmm. pick ups. Let's see what's in here next is the elf matte lip colors and these two are in rich red these were actually my favorite colors but the only problem I had with this is that there's still a lot of product in it I don't know how well you can see it you can see it a little bit that little red dot in there and I don't know what happened but like the little twisty top thing broke and I tried to dig out like the little stick of it and try to make it put it in like a little tray or something but the twist top thing just broke and I couldn't use this anymore and I was super depressed because it was a really nice color same thing oh shit oh my god the other one I just opened and like the tube fell out oh god I hope that didn't get on my white sheets yeah and these just like they randomly fall out like I had bought another one this is the same color same brand I bought another one and this one just fell apart in it and I was just like not about it anymore oh look there it is there's another piece in the cap great yeah try to I try to love them I try to make excuses for my makeup but sometimes it just doesn't work this next one is the elf pout perfector lip gloss in glow and this was just like a sticky consistency it just I wasn't into that and I didn't like the color so he had to go what else do I have nobody cares oh yay my favorite this one is the duo eyelash adhesive this is the dark one in black and I didn't like this one because it smelled Oh god, where is that smell? They smell so disgusting. Like it smells like fish ass and I can't stand that smell. And because for the longest time, every time I tried to use it, it would get that oily. You see that oil crap that comes out of it first? It's disgusting and it's like that throughout the whole thing. Like every time I try to use it, that oil crap comes out. And I didn't like it. And I don't like the Duo brand. And I tried to get the white one and this one and I just don't like it it takes too long it's too time consuming to have to wait for this glue to dry it takes forever um, this next one is a glue also so lately I've been having an issue with um, eyelash adhesives because I can't find the right one BH cosmetics has one but like they don't sell it individually like normal ones it comes in like the little eyelash pack that you get and I don't know what glue that is. Like, it's just in, like, a little tube. How do you explain this? I if I have one. But you know how you get, like, an eyelash, um, a set, like, of eyelashes, and it comes with, like, the glue? That's what BH Cosmetics does. And I wish they would sell the glues individually, because I would buy the shit out of that glue, to be honest. Um, yeah. So this one is Revlon precision clear lash adhesive and I didn't like this because it's a wand and every time I'm trying to get the glue out like nothing comes out on the brush and I have to like dig in here to get the glue off and then it gets stuck around that part and I'm just I have the hardest time finding glues that are right for me and I'm tired of it I should probably just stop wearing eyelashes but I really like wearing eyelashes so I'm not gonna stop Okay, almost done. 
almost done. So my next two products are an e.l.f. product. e.l.f. HD blush. This shit was crap. I didn't like it. Other people liked it, but I was not into it. It's basically a liquid blush that you can like squirt. I can't even squirt it anymore, and that's the one reason why I didn't like it. And I didn't like this color, but I got it for free, but I still didn't like it. And you're supposed to squirt it out on your hand, take a small stippling brush, and like dab it on your cheeks. But every time I would try to do that, it would just come out like in big, bright clusters, even like trying to control it, like mute it on a paper towel, like trying to get some of the product out just to get a little on. And it wasn't, I couldn't work with it. It was annoying. I shouldn't have to fight with makeup. And the next one is the Shimmering Facial Whip by e.l.f. This little tiny tube. I have no idea what you were supposed to do with this. Oops. Dropped it. Um, I asked some people like what you do with it. And some of them said, oh, just use it as a highlight or a nice little shimmer on your eyes. But to be honest, every time I squirted it out, I get like this watery texture. Since the day that I got it, just like a bunch of oils and like clumpy crap. I'm like, I'm not into that. That's disgusting. Who wants to use that? I don't want to use that. <sighs> Sometimes makeup just disappoints me. <sighs> Anyways, so yeah, I tried to use it and I just wasn't into it. I, I like makeup that just is easy to work with. Sometimes I like a challenge with makeup, but I don't want to have to fight with my makeup. Mm, what is this one? I think this is an e.l.f. product because all the label came off. What does that say? Yeah, this is an e.l.f. This is the sheer e.l.f. primer, which you can't see anymore because the label came off. It's just like their labels rub off after you've used them. And I don't like this product because I think after a month that I had it, it immediately dried up. And there was clearly more product in here. Like I had another one over here that is dried up. And I even took off the little cap thing that they have in there took that off and you can clearly see, I can clearly see that it, there is more product down there at the bottom but it's just dried up and that's just a waste of money even though they're like five dollars but I'm still, you get what you pay for but I was still pretty disappointed in it because it's a good primer it just dries up too quickly. This next one is an e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen which I can't remember, I think I got this in that Ariel the Little Mermaid set that they had for a long time. They were selling them. They came with it. And to be honest, I can't remember why I don't like this. I don't remember. Oh, probably because the sponge tip, like it's another sponge tip, it like does that thing where it, like when you use it, it like bends a certain way and it stays like that. And it was kind of torn. It just, it doesn't make a clean line like the other one. It's too big. And it's not controllable. And I just didn't like it. I didn't flow with it. So that is... Oh, no. I have one more product. Never mind. Just kidding. This next one... I don't remember where I got this from. I didn't. I think I got this for, like, Christmas or something. But it's, like, the CQ Smooth Color Eyeshadow Palette thingy. Cute neutral tones. Very easy to work with. Again, I think I was using this one as like an eyebrow palette thing. I was using this dark color just on the ends just to fill them in and like this one as a highlight. Um, and I think the reason why I don't like it anymore is because again, I've like upgraded to other eyeshadows and got more stuff and like that one just got neglected. So I tossed it. And I don't know. Some of that stuff I feel like maybe if I tried it all again, um... I could probably like it, but to be honest, I really just haven't used e.l.f. products because you, you pretty much get what you pay for. You're paying like a dollar for things and you can't expect like high-end quality out of these. So, I tried. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Like and subscribe and leave comments down below of what you would like to see in the future. Bye!